Last week, I did a training for my $7 members on my $500 a month video funnel that you could basically use to sell anything. Um, because I get that question a lot, Laurel, do your strategies work for e-com? Do your strategies work for affiliate marketing? Do your strategies work for brick and mortar? And I have to say, yes, yes, yes. My strategies actually work for every single business. Some of the things that are going to change are kind of like the little tactical things. But whenever I was going over my video funnel, I was able to show examples of how I was using this to sell e-commerce products for some of my agency clients, how we sell coaching services, how we sell a brick and mortar business locally. I have a, uh, a restaurant in my little town of Gaydon. Um, one of my high school uh, classmates actually opened up a restaurant in town. And so I've actually been helping him with this exact same strategy to get butts into his restaurant. So it doesn't really matter what niche or what industry you're in, this just works. For those of you guys don't, for those of you guys who don't know, I actually have a television background. And so this is where all of my strategies actually came from way before social media even came around. And so I have an understanding of what it's like to take a potential customer from that very first touch point with you all the way into helping them make that buying decision. And so in this video, I'm hoping that you're going to get a little bit more clarity on how easy Facebook ads and YouTube ads can actually be because this same funnel we use for YouTube and it can be executed on a very small budget. Um, a lot of gurus want you to believe that you have to have thousands and thousands of dollars in order to utilize the Facebook and YouTube ads platform, but that's not true. As long as you have a strategy, you can utilize those platforms to reach any of your goals and it doesn't take thousands of dollars. As a matter of fact, this video funnel right here for one of my Lean on Laurel students, we implemented this and within two weeks, they had booked five to six, I can't remember, five or six discovery calls um, for their business and they hadn't even spent $200 yet. So um, that's a complete myth. Um, now you will spend thousands and thousands of dollars on Facebook ads if you don't know what you're doing or you're giving it to an agency who doesn't know what they're doing. And so my mission is to make sure that all of you guys are armed with the information that you need in order to get results no matter which platform that you choose. I get a question a lot, Laurel, do YouTube ads really beat Facebook ads? And my answer to that, it depends on the niche. It depends on the industry. My recommendation is always doing both. And like, if you only have a thousand dollars a month to spend, you can do $500 of this strategy on Facebook and $500 of it on YouTube and test them against each other. But my recommendation is do it on both. Why would you not? Um, I don't like putting all of my eggs in one basket, especially after the whole iOS update, you know, like a lot of things changed, but the one thing that saved my butt and my clients and students' butts were this strategy right here. Okay. And I'm going to show you why. Now I'm going to do two things. I'm going to one, I'm going to show you how this strategy looks like with a 30,000 foot view. But then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you my $500 a month video funnel so that you guys can actually see the exact ads, the exact videos that I'm doing in order to make this work for me to sell my $7 program. And I'll even go over how we're using it to sell um, higher ticketed coaching services. But the first thing that I need you to understand is that the power funnel, like I like to call it, is basically just a video funnel and it's got two layers. Layer number one is we're going to send cold traffic to three videos. Now, this is where a lot of people are like, they get a little confused over this strategy right here because they're like, well, Laurel, what's the call to action? Where are we sending people to? And I always tell people we're just giving value. We just want to put our content in front of the right people who might have a problem or a struggle or a desire of what we have. These are going to be the three videos that is going to hook them. Okay. And like I said, I'm going to show you exactly what that looks like inside my ads manager. I've got all of my ads pulled up right here. So I'm going to show you what that actually looks like. But the first thing that I need you to understand is that we are sending cold traffic to three videos and it is going to be a video view campaign. Okay. So this is not going to be a conversion objective. This is going to be a video view objective. 
And I know a lot of people want to ask the question, um, can I use engagement? Absolutely, you can. Um, sometimes we actually get better video views with engagement, but one of the things that I want you guys to start to understand is that in order to make the ads platform work for you, it has very little to do with objectives and more with the messaging, okay? We have to understand and speak our potential customer's language. I see so many students of mine, they, um, like, for example, I'll, I'll, I won't name this student, but I'll give you an example. And so one of my students um, is trying to get brick and mortar clients. And so he wants to work with restaurants. Um, he wants to work with, you know, local body shops and stuff like that. And whenever I was looking at his three pieces of power content, that is what I call these top of funnel videos right here. He was using language like lead generation and funnel and all of that stuff. And brick and mortar businesses don't use that type of language. Um, I have a doctor, well, I actually have several doctors who were in my Lean on Laurel program and they, they tend to get a little bit technical. And so one of the things that I always have them do is make sure that they are speaking the language that their audience actually speaks, okay? So that, that's super, super important. Too many people, they, 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 they're so focused on things that actually don't make the, the biggest difference. Because think about this, good content is good content, whether it's a video view campaign or whether it is a conversion campaign, right? If you see a, an amazing offer, you're gonna snag it up. And so people get way, they, they complicate ads way too much. As a matter of fact, probably a lot of you guys who are watching this video right now probably can push buttons in the ads manager better than me. But what makes me so successful at what we do is the strategy and the messaging. Those are the two most important things. So we want to understand that we're sending cold traffic to these three videos, okay? We're going to use a video view campaign. What we're going to do is we're going to create a custom audience of people who watch 25% of either of these three videos. Now you can start these campaigns at $5 a day per video. So if you've got three videos, that's going to be $15 a day. So if you don't have a $15 a day budget, then only do two videos. Okay. You can only do what your budget allows and you can't, you can't even do a dollar a day for each video, but just know that it's going to take a while before this bucket, right? Because remember, we have to wait for this bucket to fill up right? This bucket is to fill up of people who've watched 25%. If you're only spending a dollar a day, it's going to take a while for this bucket to fill up with people who've watched 25% or more. And so if you only have $300 um, a month to spend, I would say, you know, spend $5 a day, which is about $150 here and $5 a day, about $150 there and test the two videos. Because think about this, maybe one video is getting way more plays at 25% for your budget, then you could just kill this video and put all of the budget to that video. Okay. Just a couple, a couple of little things. I want you, I want you guys to, to get comfortable with these strategies because it, it's not, it's not that hard once you understand that we're literally just putting content in front of people. And it doesn't matter whether you're doing this, this strategy on YouTube or Facebook. I have another YouTube video that I'm walking you guys through how I'm doing this power content strategy on YouTube, okay? It works, it works both ways. So once we have 500 to 1,000 people, okay? Some accounts, Facebook will start spending retargeting ads at about 500 people in this custom audience. Uh, some people have to wait to 1,000. There's no rhyme or reason. Facebook just works a little bit different. Um, with YouTube, I just say anyone who's visit, who's viewed any of these videos, okay? What I'm trying to do is YouTube acts a little bit different um, than Facebook. Facebook lets you get really granular on the percentages of people who are watching. Um, and then what I have down here is a second tier of videos. And everyone who's watched 25% or more of any of these three videos, they're going to get all of these videos. Now, I'm going to give you guys a little hack. All I'm doing is I'm going live on my business page. And I'm hitting the boost button for all of these videos. Okay. So um, you can put them in ads manager. Absolutely. Like you could set up campaign number one, and then you could set up campaign number two. Now campaign number two, 
I am actually going to do a reach campaign. Most of the retargeting that I do is a reach campaign at $2 a day. So I'm spending $2 a day on these ads. And I'll actually show you guys because I, pra I practice what I preach. So let's actually go into, um, I'm gonna actually show you what these ads look like, okay? So campaign number one, video view campaign, cold traffic, Everyone who watches 25% gets to campaign number two, which you can do as a conversion campaign. You can run a conversion campaign. That's fine. Um, I like to run a reach campaign. So here's my rule of thumb. I will run a reach campaign if I have less than 3,000 people in a custom audience. If I have more than 3,000 people, I, I might run a conversion campaign. Most of the time I do run a reach campaign though. Um, but if I have a client and we've got thousands and thousands of people in this bucket, um, I'm, I'm probably gonna run a conversion campaign. It just depends on the size, right? I use reach because I wanna reach everyone in this audience because remember when Facebook optimizes for conversions, it's only going to show that ad in front of the people that's likely to convert according to them, okay? Um, but I have, I have been super successful running reach campaigns as a matter of fact. I learned that from John Parks who does Russell Brunson's ads. All of the retargeting, or reach campaigns. And so that was that was kind of an aha moment in my thing. I always learn different tactics and tricks from other people who are amazing at running ads. So let's go ahead and I'll show you guys what these ads look like, okay? So these are three of my pieces of power content video. Now, as you guys can see, there there is no call to action as far as a button, okay? And I'm going to give you guys a little hack on this is I use repurpose.io um, for my Facebook lives. So if I'm going live on Facebook, you can see here, this one's just an organic looking one. And then these have the banners. Um, I test both. Some niches work better with banners. Some of them work better organically. And you can see here, $5 a day. Okay. That's all I'm doing. I am just doing, you know, $5 a day. So I'm just running these and in total transparency, these three videos um, right here, you can see, um, you can see RBMF. I'm running these to Russell Brunson and a Marie Forleo layer. So um, what I'm doing is I'm just doing people who like Russell Brunson and must also like Marie Forleo. Um, the second one, um, before you switch platforms, that one's going to FEA, which is the Female Entrepreneur Association. I've got that as an, in, like as an individual um, ad set. And then um, again, Russell Brunson and Marie Folio, my first sales funnel. Um, don't overcomplicate targeting. A lot of times I'll tell my students, just do it individually. Like if you know, if you know Amy Porterfield has your audience, just run these power content videos to Amy Porterfield. I'm gonna tell you, I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys something real quick. So think about this. Remember how I said a while ago that Facebook optimizes based on the objective. Well, what is the objective that most direct response marketers and most of the, the, the online marketing space who's spending the most money? They're running conversion campaigns, right? But remember, Facebook's only going to show that ad to those people who are likely to convert. So by running these videos as a video view campaign, we're actually reaching a large market of people that aren't even seeing the ads from some of the biggest marketers because the biggest marketers are using conversion campaigns. So um, that's, that's, that's another way that we could actually leverage video ads is reaching people who the biggest marketers aren't targeting, therefore lowering the cost of our ads. So it's kind of cool. So this is what they look like. So um, as you can see, some of them have, have banners, um, some of them don't. I like, I like doing a mix of both. Um, this is one campaign you can see right here. Um, I've, I've got them under each a different ad set. Um, so these are three ad sets each at $5 a day. So this is, this campaign is running at $15 a day. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm telling Facebook, make a custom audience of anyone who's watching 25% of these videos. And then they're going to get my second tier of content. Okay. And anytime that I'm going live, I make sure that I have a very strong call to action because I know that I'm going to be running these as ads later. And so I don't spend a lot of time creating organic content and creating paid content because guys, remember paid ads are just organic content with money on it. And so all I'm doing is I'm going live, I'm pulling it into repurpose.io and then I'm, it's spitting out these banner ads. And so 
I am consistently like updating this. Like I, I have, a, I run tons of these. I change them out every month, but I, I have a lot of content. And so this is the importance of using my organic strategy. If you go live at least once a week, you are always going to have content and your audience isn't going to get bored with the content that you're putting in front of them. Facebook loves new content. As a matter of fact, the algorithm has changed over the last year. Used to, you could run an ad for a year and months at a time and it would be fine, but now Facebook is hungry for new content and it will reward you for putting new content out. And so what I do is I just make sure that I'm going live once or twice a week. Um, I, and I'll actually tell you guys another hack. I don't actually go live. Like most of the time I'm pre-recording videos and putting them into one stream and streaming it to YouTube, streaming it to my Facebook profile and streaming it to my Facebook business page all at the same time. And then what I'm doing is I'm turning those lives into ads. And so that's why it, you guys think that I'm online all the time and I'm really not. This is, this is how I stay in front of you guys. And I make sure that all of you guys see this content. If you're watching this on YouTube, this is going to be an ad as soon as I'm done going, going live right here on YouTube. This is, this is going to become an ad. And so don't overthink it. Like right now I'm very loosey goosey. I've got a t-shirt on. I don't even have makeup on. Like people overthink going live or putting out content and turning them into ads. They think that they have to have all this flashy equipment and they have to be in a studio. I'm, I'm literally, you know, in my beach house's, you know, guest room with a whiteboard and I don't even have anything fancy. I'm using the, the audio, the audio mic from my iMac. I'm using the, the web camera. Um, these videos just do better. Like I have, like you guys know, I worked in television for a really long time and I have all the fancy equipment, but the, the videos that do the best in the newsfeed are videos just like this, where I'm just, you know, loosey goosey, just giving you guys value, just showing you guys really cool stuff. So don't overthink it guys. $5 ads, $2 ads. These are the two and $5 ads that literally built my business to seven figures. I'm going to show you guys something real quick. So if we go back here and we share this, I'm actually going to go here. And so this was a presentation that I did um, for my students not too long ago, but check this out. I hit seven figures last September. You'll see right here at the top, September 30th of 2021. This is the amount of ad spend that it took to get me there. $37,000. Isn't that amazing? Like, right? A lot of gurus are like, oh, you have to spend like, you know, quarter of a million dollars in order to make seven figures. No, the $5 and $2 ads that built my business, proof it right there, um, is guys, don't overthink it. I want to be the person that is going to help you make advertising a lot simpler. It doesn't have to be complicated. If you want to personally work with me so that we can get the messaging right for these videos, if you want to work with me so that every time you go live, people are raising their hands saying, yes, I want to work with you. I'm going to invite you to join my Lean on Laurel program, okay? A lot of times people think, you know, well, I might not be ready for ads. Lean on Laurel is not just about ads. Lean on Laurel is about me helping you get more clients, get more sales in a way that is going to fit your time and in a way that's going to fit your budget. I have a lot of students who are in Lean on Laurel. This is all we work on and this is all they need in order for their business. As a matter of fact, I have over a dozen students who are just doing these $5 and $2 ads and they are getting all of the clients and the phone calls that they need in order to fill their business. It's not about, you know, getting thousands of leads for them. It's all about getting, you know, those five phone calls that are, that they're going to be able to sell three clients in order to run their business every single month. And so it's not always about these huge numbers. It's about getting the little things right. Because think about this, if we can get a little strategy like this right, and we can get you getting clients, all we have to do is add more money, add more fuel to the fire. But if we start small, we simplify what we're doing, we get this right, then we're able to move on and do bigger things if that meets your goals. 
doing a lot bigger things doesn't personally meet my goals because I like working in Lean on Laurel with a smaller group of people. I don't want to scale that to the moon and back. I don't want to have to hire coaches to, to take over what I'm doing. I love being hands-on with all of you guys. So if you love being hands-on with your clients and you're not looking to scale big, 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 um, reach out to me. Um, I would love to personally invite you to apply for my Lean on Laurel program. Um, here's the thing. If you're not a good fit, I'll tell you. I'll be totally upfront before you even give me a dime. So if you're interested in that, just you know, drop me a line below. If you're you know, seeing the comments, you're seeing this on Facebook, just send me a DM. Um, but anyway, I hope that this video brought a lot of value. If it did, smash that like button. Leave me a comment, a nice or mean comment, if you think that this, this video blew. Tell me that too. Anyway, you guys have an amazing day.